Hey, what's going on, y'all? So we at it again. Thank you for tapping in with me. At All About Fish again. One more time, hitting the bank a little bit. Show you what I got. another yellow head eel the other one jumped out the tank unfortunately we got a fox face rabbit fish we have two diamond gobies right there and we have some phyto feast for the cobra pies to eat so when we get when i get back to the house i'll get these guys acclimated and get them inside the tank so you then all right so made it back to the house now it's time to get these guys acclimated. This is the fox face rabbit fish that I was talking about. It's like six inches. Better look at these two diamond gobies right here. And then last but not least, we have our yellow head Morio. Can't really see this guy because he popped the last bag. So they put him in his bag with this, um, with this extra secure blue bottom to prevent it from puncturing another hole in it. So let's get these guys acclimated and then into this tank with the rest of them. There's our Tessalata right there. I'll upload the video in a couple of days on when I got this guy. But um, yeah, let's do this. All right, so to get these guys acclimated, I'm gonna cut this air line and acclimate, do a drip acclimation each individually. I'm probably gonna do this for about 30 minutes. Um, once that's done, then I'll be ready to put these guys into the tank. Yeah, yeah, you can start recording me. I'm just gonna, um, I'm gonna put a little music behind this instead. So they double bagged this guy because he has a very sharp, venomous um, spine. It's the diamond gobies, my bad. I don't know why they double back those. Let's see, let's see. Be video worthy. me to keep these hoses inside the tank while I'm doing my drip acclimation. Let's see if this works. For the first time I'm trying this. This one. Alright. Okay. 
That's, that's about good enough for me. It's kind of fast. There we go. Fast little trickle. right there all right that's one now this is the fox face rabbit fish looks like the air was already running out in this bag guys need the scotch tape just put it right on in there just like that okay then last but not least definitely not least Harley was a green sorry yellow head eel Again, 2.0. Better than before. Remember, this is, he jumps. This is better than the best. That's what I said. Wow. All right, same deal. to let these guys sit in these bags for about 30 minutes and then we'll be introducing them to the new teammates. Uh, get a look at the, I'll say this right here is a success. So moving forward, if I have multiple, multiple fish that I need to acclimate at the same time, I will be using that. You can steal it if you want to. But uh, I'll get back with you shortly. We'll be back. Action. All right, so now we got two out of three that's in acclimating. So I'm gonna put those guys in. So we're gonna start off with this fox face. 
be extra careful with him because of all this water. All right, so first, you gonna get this guy into the, into the tank. Come on. That's one. He's looking a little washed out. Obviously, he's been acclimating for a little bit of time. Hey, you want to hold this bag? Next. Oh, you caught him. Caught him. Oh, so let me get the let me get the other one up in there because these guys are some jumpers. That was amazing. There they go. And they clean the sand, babe. They sift through the sand. They're also known as sand sifters. So I always accumulate a lot of algae on the sand. So these guys should keep the sand turned over for me. That was a little fun, that was a little interesting to release, but I'm looking forward to releasing that yellow head. That's who I really want to release. There you go. A little stressed out, but it's totally fine. Once they get comfortable, you'll see them swimming around. They'll regain their colors. And uh, yeah, there goes one. And there's that one up there, okay. <laughs> the last thing I need for is for him to jump out. So already our fox face is regaining the colors. So remember how you did to see how washed out it was looking? I'm brown and the face was looking all ashen. But now you'll see a beautiful sunny yellow on them with some with some deep dark black. And as you see, of course the white never went anywhere. But yeah, the colors on this guy is so vivid and nice. Yeah, he's beautiful. And he eats the algae, guys. So all this extra hair algae and stuff like that, he should be eating that. A beautiful addition to the tank. And so last but not least, oh, definitely not least, we got the yellow head. This time we're gonna be extra cautious with him. He's not going nowhere. There we go. There he go. Get in there. Oh, get in there. There we go. Look at him. Oh, look at him. Such an amazing eel. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, he's mad. Look at his mouth. Oh my goodness. We're done with the eels, guys. 
Unless we get a bigger tank when we get up out of here. <laughs> That's when that nice green eel might come into play. Oh yeah. I'm not against getting the green eel. Definitely. Harley, be cool. So now we have the tessellata eel, we have the snowflake eel, we have the zebra eel, and we have this amazingly beautiful yellowhead eel once again. I made a huge mistake last time. I've had an opening in the top of the tank where he was able to get through and he took a nosedive and it was devastating. But everything happens for a reason. And uh, this guy is even bigger and better and more vibrant in color than the last one, if you can believe it. If you checked out that video that I posted a week ago, you'll see what that one looked like. And when you look at this video, you'll see there's no comparison whatsoever. This guy is amazing. I cannot wait to show you the feeding videos now with these with these eels. Absolutely stunning. Oh. He's hungry. He's hungry? Uh -huh. He's angry. Hungry. Why do you say that? Because it looked like he was about to eat fox. Might have just been a warning. Like, don't mess up, don't mess with me. So this right here, this worked perfect. So happy with it. So now that I'm done with this, done with this box, I am going to let these guys get comfortable and uh, I'll grab the camera again later on tonight or maybe tomorrow, because the lights will be cutting off within the next 45 minutes. So by tomorrow, they should be comfortable, fully acclimated, and, uh, and ready to eat. And there's the tessellata right there. Catch, catch the little diamond, go be up there hanging out. And they're kind of up there chilling in that algae. <laughs> I like it. I think I like it up here. I typically quarantine these guys for 30 days. But the pet store, they quarantine the fish before they give them, before they sell them. So I'm sure they're perfectly fine. And uh, if something do happen, we definitely got the medication. But I don't suspect anything like that to happen. So that's all I have for you. Thank you for tuning in. If you want to follow along, see how these guys are doing, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And then until next time, peace.